Tonight we find ourselves in northwest Germany, in Leverkusen, on the banks of the Rhine, not too far from Cologne. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Bayer Leverkusen taking on Liverpool. Thanks, Derek. Always love these European nights under floodlights. It's a special atmosphere, not just in the stadium, but around the city with all the travelling fans. It's going to be a really special game. Liverpool play in the group stage it always has the effect of bringing the memories back my favorite memory Lee old spaghetti legs himself Bruce Grobelar <laughs> on that final against Roma yeah who can forget that and I think Liverpool would love that to be happening again they've got the talent they've got the drive they've got the hunger can they go all the way and so the Bayer Leverkusen team looks like this this particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre-backs. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence and leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. And he's fired over the corner. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, as we run the rule over the table in this group, it's all very tight and so useful-looking ball. Will it be Wijnaldum? A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal, and they certainly have done. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And he's clear his lines. He's just a thorough reader. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Roberto Firmino. Now he's got to stay calm. It has to be, surely. Fine reaction save from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeping at its best. Really, really top draw. Over it comes, and he's banded against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches, so, so close with his head. And for, well, visionary passing, just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. A chance to revisit the goal. It has. 
had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks it's in just wide. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And scope for the cross. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, he's missed it, and you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down. You've got to take chances like that, Derek. It's with Roberto Firmino. And now Jordan Henderson. Can he put it away? And Sadio Mane finishes with a plum. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Now, well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Here's Keita. The contest to an end and three points this evening for Liverpool. Well, Derry, that was a great performance, wasn't it? Really, really top class. Every department of the team working perfectly well. It was easy in the end. They strolled around, could have won by more goals, but the manager will be very happy with the result and the performance.